you will notice that SharePoint 2013 incorporates the ribbon, which is the same toolbar structure that is used in the Microsoft Office applications. This toolbar will come and go depending on where you are within your website. Notice that when I click on a document library, the contextual ribbon tabs appear at the top of the web page. Here we see Browse, Files, and Library. Within the Files tab, you will see various commands to work with your files, such as Upload Document, Create New Folder, and Alert Me of Changes. Notice that many of the commands are not functional. If I click the checkbox next to a file in the library, the other commands become available, such as Edit Document, Edit Properties, Download a Copy, etc. It's important to note that the Browse tab simply hides the ribbon so you can access the site navigation links. Within the Library tab, you will find commands relevant to the entire document library, such as working with views, tracking, connecting and exporting, and settings. Let's now take a look at this within a list. Here you will see the tabs Browse, Items, and List. The Items tab is similar to the Files tab in that you will find commands to manage the specific items in your list. The List tab is much like the Library tab, as you will find commands relevant to the entire list, such as working with views, tracking, connecting and exporting, etc. For one more example, let's look at the ribbon used for page edits. Anytime you are editing a SharePoint page, simply look above and use the ribbon to begin customizing your web page with text formatting, inserting objects, and more.